may be that we have a Philippian jailer experience. Not only was the jailer saved, but what? His whole house. You ought to be praying, coming to prayer meeting. If you have an unsaved brother, if you have an unsaved sister, how tragic would it be? God has brought you to himself. And your brother, your sister, die and go to hell. Not knowing Christ, you don't save them, but you never said a word. Your children. That's a priority, isn't it, for parents? We want our children to be saved, all of us. We know this issue about understanding and so forth, so we be, we're watching. Well, wait, I, I know you won, but do you say Jesus? Say, say Jesus. Do you say it? I mean, we have that, that, that. We want them to be saved. We really want that. We got uncles and aunts. Remember, sufficient grace. We all have members in the family we think made it beyond. They'd have messed up too bad. You know what I'm talking about, that uncle aunt that comes to the reunion, mess up the whole reunion. You know what I'm talking about. Everybody, we got them in our family. You got them. You know, everything going well, and here come Uncle So-and-so. He do the same thing every year. Auntie So-and-so do the same thing every year. Going to cause problems, disrupt the whole reunion. Those are very ones that God might be drawing. He findeth his own brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which is being interpreted to Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. When Jesus beheld him, he said, Thou art Simon, the son of Jonah, thou shalt be called Cephas. Then notice this, we'll call it the day following. Jesus would go forth into Galilee and find his Philip and said to him, Follow me. Philip was of Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip findeth Nathaniel, said to him, we have found him, whom Moses and the law and prophets did write, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. I noticed something. I've been watching this as I'm reading in the Gospels this time around. Jesus calls Matthew, and Matthew follows him. But while he's there, he goes into Matthew's house. And invites all of Matthew's public and friends and sinners. And he sits down with them. The religious community looks at him and says, Look, don't you know your master eats with publicans? He eats with them tax collectors and he eats with them sinners. Jesus said, He who is sick, he who is not sick doesn't need a physician. I didn't come to call righteous. I came to call sinners. To repentance. While, while he's there, you ever thought about that? All his friends. You realize there are people that you can reach with the gospel that no one else can reach? Your neighbors on your street, your co workers, your family, people in your network. You have the potential 